everyone, and welcome to the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse for CTN's live coverage of high school volleyball. Tonight, a tough test for the Cardinals as they host the 14-2 Rogers Royals. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro, sidelines for the action, and Howie, uh, going to be a tough time for the Cardinals. They have to, to keep pace right away. We talked about how tall this squad for Rogers is. Rogers dropped their first two games of the year, Joe, in the matches of the year, and has now since won 14 straight. So you're right, this is going to be a tough uh, a tough one for the Cardinals. What they want to do is try and get and develop an early lead and see if they can get some of the momentum, take away, and get this crowd going. Sadie Green starts off on the serve. Ritter receives this one. Punched over cross court by Alyssa or Anya Schmidt, and she finds the floor. A quick side out for Rogers. Not necessarily the way they drew it up, but effective. There's the head coach, Bo Schmidt. We were talking uh, before the game. We had. And then Schmidt promptly puts too much power on the serve. Past the end line and a side out right back to the Cardinals. That looked, that looked like a very nice serve. Looked like it hit the line. Cardinals will take it. Tatum Shevchuk serves wide and a couple of back to back service errors. And it'll be Bryn Rhinus at the service line for Rogers. There's Janine Crooks, head coach. Her first season here at Coon Rapids, had a chance to meet her for the first time tonight. Cardinals got their first win for Coach Crooks last yep. week against St. Francis. The one in four. <laughs> that one hammered long. No, it was off a fingertip, so a kill for Michaela Wilbur. And it's 2-2. Uh, the key for Coon Rapids is to try and, uh, the best they can to keep this, this close. Don't let uh, the Royals go on runs. Chloe Hoffman checking in for the Cardinals and a service ace for Madison Fowler. You know, sometimes a team that comes in at 14 and two can maybe overlook a team whose record isn't as, as stellar as they are. And they certainly do not want to do that. A little help from the net, picked up off the floor by Ritter, pushed over by Schmidt. The Cardinals will regroup. The attack by Bresnahan is good. And the Cardinals have a 4-2 lead. Well, that's got to make that sideline feel pretty nice to hear, up early 4-2. I know Coach, uh, head coach Bo Schmidt of, Ro of Rogers told the squad to not look past this team. Is. Rogers will get the Fowler point. hoping for a little more help from the tape. Didn't get it that time. And another service error. Gives the side out and the serve to Hannah Bruskovitz. Big stuff in the middle for Caitlin Lee on yep. the attack by Wilbur. They're very strong at the net. We're going to see that here all night long. You get the opportunity for the block. Rogers does a really nice job using their height. Passed over by Walitka. Attack in the middle, a little off speed from Caitlin Lee, finds the floor, and Rogers takes the lead 5-4. It was such a good set that the defense for Coon Rapids felt that this was going to be something with some power to it. She did a nice job of adjusting and finding that soft spot on the floor. A little bit of a miss hit by Seda Green on the set attempt. Bruskowitz at the service line. Up 6-4. And the Cardinals unable to receive. And the first real streak of set one going to the Rogers Royals, now up by three. See, the Royals are good enough to, to be able to go on this kind of a streak and, and really excel and develop a big lead. And the Cardinals have to find a way to stop that. Well, Broskowitz changing uh, where she's putting it, how much speed she's putting on those serves. Wilbur firing this one long. It is now seven straight points for the Royals with Broskowitz at the service line. 
Hoffman pounds it through a block attempt. Royals able to recover. Huge power from Ritter, but it's wide. And the Cardinals will get the side out. I mean, that's what you're going to see from Rodgers up front is that power. Yeah, I was watching them warm up with Anya Schmidt attacking from their right and Caitlin, or uh, Allison Ritter from their left. And then uh, also setting up uh, Bruskowitz in the middle. Well, the Cardinals get the point, then give the serve right back. 10-5 lead for the Royals here in set number one. With the Anderson serving now. Rye punches it over for the Cardinals. There's Ritter with the power, or Schmidt rather, with the power from the right side. Yeah, they have a, they have a number of different athletes that can provide that kind of power. Hoffman trying to avoid the block attempt. This one just pushed over by Ritter. Hoffman will pass it across for the Cardinals. Here comes Ritter from the right side, bounce it off the top of the tape. Cardinals able to recover. Rye passes it across. Set in the middle, punched to the floor by Anya Schmidt. That's a smart play by Schmidt. She just saw, saw the hole in that Cardinal of defense. And she didn't need a lot of power. All she did was uh, get a little placement on it, and get the point 12 5 lead for Rodgers. Well, I think it was just a little tighter to the net than she wanted it as well. And rather than risk going into the net and giving that side out. She just punched it around the defense. A good time out for the Cardinals. They have to try and see if they can slow this Rogers team down here a little bit. Yeah, 12-5 lead here, a 10-1 to run for the Royals and they maintain the serve and Always interesting to see out of the timeout if it is effective, if they're able to get a side out. Hello, Red Sport. Oh, loving it. New hat. Is Gift from the team. I love it. For being the number one fan. He is definitely the number one fan. No question. Cardinal Buckethead is styling to be certain. I like it. In the middle, Huffman is blocked. Cardinals able to recover. Opportunity and a kill for Allison Ritter. That didn't leave much. Perfect placement for Ritter to pound that ball to the floor. Cardinals able to get it back over. Not pretty, but effective. And then uh, Bryn Rhinus with a big kill to keep this rally going. Well, that was definitely pretty and effective. Anderson serves long and the side out to the Cardinals. The Cardinals are just looking for that little bit of a break, hoping to make it happen here. One just fell out, and Soraya Rai was ready to try and play it as it came over and wisely called off by her teammates as that one fell outside the line. Wilbur catches that. Well, the line judge ruled it hit the line, yeah. but our actual officials said no. And a side out on the, the long service. Rye from the middle fires long. 16 7. The lead for Rogers here in the opening set. And a great service ace from Allison Ritter. Well, we've seen that's been a big part of their game is their service. Uh, they serve so well. 
They serve with placement, they serve with power. Pass too close to the net. Caitlin Lee takes care of it, just dunks it down. And an 11 point lead here for Rogers. Yeah, just, just a little soft push to the floor. And another ace for Ritter as she found that back line. Cardinals thought it was going long, but. Yeah, it's tough to hold off of that one. And now a serve into the net. Again, the Cardinals here looking to try and gain some momentum. Well, they, need, they need a run. They need a big we run. We talk all the time about volleyball since they went to rally. Scoring is all about getting runs. You have to be able to answer a run with a run. Cardinals have not been able to do that yet. No chance to attack on that one. Cardinals able to block, but then put to the floor by Rhinus to get the side out. I mean, so many different contributors for this uh, Rogers squad. 20 to eight lead, they're controlling this game. First set handily. Caitlin Lee is serving near the back line is Wilbur. This one's set up for Rye, too close and pushed to the floor by Rhinus. And another service ace, this one for Caitlin Lee. Fourth ace, Yund officially. Of course. Yeah, she just couldn't uh, couldn't place it the way she, where she wanted it. It just went to the floor. Wilbur near the back line, real close to the net. Fowler able to pass it across. Set up and hammered by Anya Schmidt. Twenty-three to eight. Now the lead in set number one. Trying to, to set it up was Olivia Fredrickson, but it carried her into the net, and now it'll be set point. Shevchuk attacking, she'll get the kill and keep the Cardinals alive. Yeah, nice, nice kill for Shevchuk, and, and obviously they needed it to stay in this one. They just need uh, 15 straight. It's not impossible. No, it, it is not impossible. No, Nothing is impossible. Nothing's impossible. Seda Green will. You, you and I have been to, together 24 years. Nobody thought that was possible. In the middle, big power. Cardinals push it back over. And the Royals unable to recover. It was nice. a strong attack in the middle. I think it was Rhinus and. I think it surprised the Royals that the Cardinals were able to send it back over, especially as quickly as they did. They just weren't ready for it. Seda Green serving again. Bruskowitz couldn't finish. Cardinals play it back over. They'll set up again. This time it's going to be Rhinus on the attack. Bresnahan for the Cardinals. She's blocked but out of bounds. Bresnahan will get the kill. Well, Cardinals able to reel off a few points here. That's just exactly what they needed to do, get a little confidence. I mean, even if they're gonna drop this first one, you get a little confidence going into the second. A little quick set, the Cardinals able to recover and unfortunately play it up into the banners and that is gonna be out of play and it will be set one for Rogers 25 to 11. We'll take a short break and be back with more from Roger E. Carlson after this. You're watching live coverage of girls high school volleyball. Access your ticket behind the scenes of Coon Rapids Sports. 
studio and Howie, it feels great to be back behind the desk. I can't think of too many things better in life. How about you? I can think of one. Because it's an all-out sprint a... to the finish. Okay. Kind of like your life. They host Elk River on Tuesday and Howie. We'll be there. There you go. It's <laughs> contagious. <laughs> like the, it's all your fault. Yeah, of course it is. I'm Joe Young. I'm Joey. I'm Joe. I'm Joe Young as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not so sure how good we'll look on HD, but you know. <laughs> I appreciate the effort. I try. I do. Back at Roger e. Carlson Fieldhouse, the Royals roll. In set one to a 25-11 win. And uh, they got contributions from all over the floor. Cardinals able to get a few points there at the end. Their, their best little streak came right at the end and it allowed them to get a little momentum and a little positivity to bring into set two. But just so many weapons for Rodgers. You have to be concerned for the Cardinals. Uh, trying to uh, keep them from getting hot. Michaela Wilbur with a kill right to the back line to start things here in set number two. Schmidt attacking, picked up by Green, but out of play. A kill for Schmidt and an even score at one all. The Cardinals just have to push that first set out of their minds. I mean, obviously, Rogers dominated that one. They just have to start square from here, and, and their goal is to even it up at one. Well, the big difference really was the, the streak they went on in the middle there. And if they can avoid, you know, giving up those seven and eight points, Stretches, Bruskowitz attack picked up by the Cardinals and sent back over. They'll try again with Ritter. She is successful. Well, it's definitely the key, Joe, obviously, is avoid, see if they can avoid Rodgers going on those on long runs. And that's how Rodgers has been, has been successful this season is they've been able to do that. Just keep it close, that's all they want. Well, and this is kind of how the first set started as well. A couple of service errors on either side of the net and quick side outs. Punched over and President Ann fires it right to the back corner. Yeah, every point they can get here gives them that little bit more of confidence. You always love to see strong pass, a good set, and then a solid attack, but if it can just be a one touch back to the corner that's unguarded, that's always good too. Caitlin Lee with the kill for Rodgers. See, the Cardinals, are no, they know they're gonna see that from Rodgers. They're gonna see that strong play at the net. And so by being able to control part of the game, they, that, that's gonna give them an opportunity to stay into it. Olivia Anderson serving up an ace, and it was Anderson at the service line that helped Rodgers on that long scoring streak in set number one that really established the big lead. Wilbur on the attack took a little something off, a great diving save by Rhinus. The attack and a diving save on the flip side by Favisif. Good volley going here. Schmidt will end it. Uh, just a perfect set for Schmidt. I mean, she just had the elevation and she had the per great angle to pound it to the floor. Yeah, it makes it so hard to defend when they are uh, able to put strong strikers on each side of the net and even bring someone right up the middle as well. Rhinus fires long, that'll be a side out. We're tied at five here in set number two as Soraya Rai checks in. Bresnahan serving for Coon Rapids. Schmidt switches sides just as effective from the left. 
and the power she's able to push that to the floor with. Yeah, and again, it, it helps. They don't list uh, their their heights, no. but uh, that serve is right to the back line and ace for Allison Ritter. Uh, but just looking at them as they lined up for the national anthem and they're they're tall across yes, they the are. board this one had a little too much shot service error will send it back over to the cardinals whereas the cardinals uh, have some height but they also they, they, they have a lot more variety in their yeah in their size they they don't have the height that uh, the royals have. That's, that's how you use the tape exactly to your advantage the tape is your friend Wilbur getting the ace. And a seven all score. And back to back aces for Michaela Wilbur. Much different start in the field to this uh, the set number two than set number one. And the Cardinals are doing a really nice job of keeping this close. Picked up by Vukic, Schmidt. With a lot of power and a lot of angle on that one. Gets the side out. Eight all. And then a serve long for Caitlin Lee. Gives it back to the Cardinals with the lead 9-8. Well, you didn't see a lot of that in that first set from Rogers. It was long serves. But we've seen it a few times here so far in set number two. That's what's keeping the Cardinals in this. Tricky attack as both Rhinus and Bruskowitz went up for that. Rhinus finishing it off. And it's 9 all. Schmidt's got power from the service line as well. Bresnahan passes it over. Here's Bruskowitz in the middle. She gets the kill. And that, that's just too easy for her at that point. Perfect service, and she'd just be able to push it with so much speed to the corner. That one just barely long. It's 10 all. When, you know, the, the, the big hits, the big blocks get all the attention, but the importance of first touch and being able to successfully receive and give a good pass is critical. Huge stuff for Bella Bresnahan. Yeah, and Bella just timed her jump perfectly. She's able to get the, get the block. Again, Carlos hanging with him here in set number two. Service just wide, just it's 11 wide. all. Rhinus to the service line for Rogers. That one ran up on Lilitka a little bit. Passed across by Wilbur. Set up. Defended well at the net by Bresnahan. Royals recover. Bruskowitz punches it over. Shevchuk did not get the angle she wanted. And a point for Rogers. Couple of good plays at the net on both sides on that point. Wilbur passing it across. The attack and the kill for Bryn Rhinus. Uh, uh, Carl's just keeping within a couple of points. And they have a shot. Bresnahan attacking. Bruskowicz. Bruskowicz puts it around the block, but too wide. Yeah, she thought she was going to get that easy opportunity. Shevchuk serving for Coon Rapids. Set up. Bruskowicz. Didn't get all she wanted on it, but it was effective as it finds the floor. Gets the side out right back for Rogers. And Hannah Bruskowitz at the service line with a 14-12 lead. Oh 
Set for Wilbur. Quick turn by the Royals and the kill by Allison Ritter. Rezan didn't have the touch she wanted. Well, this is the spot that uh, Rogers is going to look to go on a run. Thavis's pass up near the net. Green able to save it, but a huge stuff. It was both Olivia Anderson and Caitlin Lee there to shut down the attack by Wilbur. Timeout, Coon Rapids now trailing by five. Yeah, the, the Royals again now doing a, a good job of extending this lead here. Uh, they won that first one, 25-11, uh, 17-12 Cardinal. Out, yes. come out of this and, and be able to break the momentum a little bit. Well, they go down two sets to nothing, it's going to be really difficult. Anna Bruskowitz back at the service line. Now a five-point lead for Rogers here in set number two. Good save by Bresnahan. Well, it passes it across. Set and the kill for Allison Ritter. Again, I mean, such good set work by this Royal squad. They pass incredibly well. They really well. do. That's what I was saying earlier. That first touch, uh, their ability to communicate, and make good passes, and and then you know, great job by Olivia Anderson doing the setting uh, for him has been able to to really open up all their different weapons. Wilbur's attack is long and wide. And the Royals continue on this run. Bruskowitz tried to put in the little bit of a curve ball and it came up just short. But defensively for Coon Rapids, they, they've expected this hard, strong service game from the Royals. And you're right, she just tried to finesse it a little bit. It hurt her. Pass up near the net, a good battle won by Anderson as she punched it over. Here comes Wilbur. For the Cardinals, she'll get the kill. Well, that's what the Cardinals need here. Just now cut it back to five, just an opportunity for them to see if they can get a little bit of a run here. And passed over the Cardinals. Set up Bresnahan. Royals are ready. In the middle, of the kill for Caitlin Lee. That'll make it 2014. Serving for the Royals of 14, Olivia Anderson. Set up for Bresnahan again, goes for that back line and finds it. Big side out for the Cardinals. They need a run here. They certainly Down do. Down five, late in set number two. Bresnahan heads to the service line. Miscommunication there. Yeah, it, it, a rare bit of miscommunication for the Royals. The Cardinals will take any help they can get. Yes, they will. Hoffman's attack in the middle, shut down, and a good stand at the net there by Anya Schmidt will get the side out for Rogers. 
And Ritter heads to the service line up 5, 21-16. And she gets the ace, her fourth of the match by my not always accurate estimations. That one is definitely an ace, yes. that's number five. Back to back aces for Ritter and the Royals are closing in on the set two victory. Now 23-16. Three straight aces from Ritter, and it's set point. Well, they realized that Coon Rapids uh, was getting a little pesky there. And they decided they just uh, want to try and close it out. A little help from the net. How about four straight aces from Allison Ritter? to give the Royals a 25-16 win in set number two. They take it two sets to lead to none lead. And we'll be back with set number three from Roger E. Carlson after this. You're watching live girls high school volleyball on CTF. Watching your favorite Cairo Sports Live is getting even easier. Whether it's CTN Cable Channel 859, the CTN Facebook and YouTube pages, or now live on our Twitter page. You choose how you want to watch Cardinal Nation. With CTN, you'll be able to catch all the big plays, all the emotion, yes, and all the fun of Coon Rapids sports. CTN Coon Rapids, stay connected. Back at the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse, the Rogers Royals, a two sets to none lead. Coon Rapids able to keep the second set a lot closer until the middle part when Rogers started to separate. Uh, Rogers, you know, outstanding uh, team, a number of, of weapons. But the Cardinals uh, kept the fight going and kept it close really right until the end. And then uh, the Royals get four straight service aces from Allison Ritter to close out the match, or the set, I should say, uh, and take the two sets to zero lead. And so now the pressure is firmly on the shoulders of Coon Rapids as they need to win to stay alive as we start the third set. You know, I think it'll be interesting to see how Rodgers comes out in this third set, because now they're up two to nothing. They can taste the, the fact that they could sweep this here. And, and I actually thought they didn't play their best volleyball in that second half. I thought they played a better uh, second set. I thought they played a better first set than they did a second set. So it'll be interesting to see how they adjust. For Coon Rapids, Joe, I mean, it's do or die, obviously. And, and they have to play with the same kind of intensity they did in that second set to be able to keep this one alive. Zeta Green's opening service is wide and a quick side out to the Royals. And again, that's what we've seen in each of the first two sets, some service aces on both sides and yep. a couple of quick side outs. But you know, the difference has been that the Royals have eventually opened it up and gone on 
on some long runs in each of the first two sets. Anya Schmidt getting the service ace. Oh, what we saw from Rogers in that second set, a lot of mistakes on their service game. Well, until the end when they got four until straight. Until the end, but yeah. And but now, and now, if you if you keep the keep adding, this is six straight service aces now that's, that's, for yeah. the Rogers team. They're not, they're not fooling around. <laughs> four, four, to, four in a row to, to finish for Ritter. Now three in a row to start the third set for Manya Schmidt and a uh, 4-0 lead. Seen some of the other Rogers uh, servers that, that uh, like to mix it up and uh, put a little change up in there every once in a while, try and place it. Schmidt just came out with the she with the cannon. She, she just she's got power it. and she's gonna she, she's gonna use it. Tatum Shevchuk serving for the Cardinals down one four here in set number three. A quick turn, but a great diving save by Shevchuk. That attack was off the net. Oh no, the no. the Cardinals touched the net. Yep. I didn't think that that attack was, was blocked. I thought that came off the top of the net, but not the way our officials saw it. And a quick side out right back. And it, Bryn Rhinus at the service line. And they are racking up the aces. Yes, they certainly are. That's why, you know. By Yund officially, I have him for 14 aces in the match total. That one played wide by Fowler. No, you know, and this is what I was a little concerned about with Rogers with it coming out here in this third set with saying we, you know, we can we can control this, we can get out with a three-set sweep. And, Fowler able to find the back line. Rogers thinks that uh, the official said that was tipped because I think it was a little bit out, but the Cardinals will get the point. Rogers uh, players didn't feel that, that uh, they tipped it, but I think they did. Well, players never feel that they did. Who, me? Bruskovitz puts it over. Big stuff, but the Cardinals trying to recover. Set up for Bresnahan on the right side. Picked up by Schmidt. Set goes to Reinitz, and she gets the kill from center court. Yeah, like you mentioned, their passing game. They move the ball around the court so well. And again, they have so many different weapons yep. and, and a strong setter in Olivia Anderson, who knows where her teammates are. and. Communicates very well as to where she's putting it. Chloe Hoffman getting a kill to get the side out for the Cardinals. Look, this is a pretty experienced Rogers Royals team. Even some of the younger underclassmen got a lot of experience last year. Pass too close to the line, pushed right back down by Chloe Hoffman. Yeah, Hoffman did a great job. She saw that opportunity and she took advantage of it. And we have not seen a lot of that from Rogers. Poor serve no. receives that give the Cardinals an opportunity for an easy point near the net. Another one there, but this time Anderson able to win the battle. Rye with a left-handed attack. The Royals able to recover. Schmidt fires wide going cross court. And the Cardinals climbing back into it at 8-5. And yeah, no, no quit in this squad is that, you know, they're down to their last set. If they don't win this one, it's over. And they know that. Pounding it through the block is Taylor Dawson. And getting the side out. Hoffman pushes it over, diving save for Rhinus. Big attack for Wilbur is good. And they get the serve right back. 
Again, just keeping it close, 9-6. Wilbur's serve picked up by Schmidt in the middle, tipped over by Lee, and the Cardinals can't keep it from the floor. Allison Ritter. Allison Ritter at the service line again. She had four straight aces to, to close out set number two. This one passed right back across. Hammered by Rhinus, she'll get the kill. Yeah, she was able to obviously allow them to, to finish it out. And she's looking to extend this lead. Another pass right back across, but passed right back by the Royals. Rye with a solid kill. Yeah, but great net play by Rye. She's able to, to get up and find that back line. Yeah, Soraya, Soraya Rye, just a sophomore, but uh, she can be dangerous. She's tall, yep. athletic, left-handed. And that definitely is, is something that uh, makes you a different type of weapon on yes, the volleyball does. court. Big stuff at the net and pushed over by Caitlin Lee. Big hammer kill through the block by Caitlin Lee. Vukic comes in, takes over at the service line, and gets an ace. Picked up by Walitka. Cardinals have to scramble, but a Wilbur hammers it from midcourt. And we've seen that a few times from, from Wilbur. Sadie Green will check in and go to the service line. Ryan, uh, Ryan's attack picked up. Shevchuk sends it over. Vukic is there. Not a lot on it by Schmidt, but the Cardinals can't keep it on their side of the net, so. A 14 to eight lead. And Schmidt bringing the power. Pass back across by Shevchuk. In the middle, Bruskowitz gets the kill. Yeah, it's pretty automatic with these uh, Royal players. You, you get that, that opportunity, good set, get the elevation, and pound it to the floor. This time the power into the net for Manya Schmidt, service. Error will give the Cardinals a side out. Tatum Shevchuk will head to the service line. Pushed over by Schmidt. Bresnahan attacking for the Cardinals. Sliding save by Vukic. Here comes Reinish. She gets the kill. That's going to make it a 16 to 9 lead for Rodgers. Again, Cardinals just trying to stay with, stay in this one and try and keep it close. <laughs> Ryan is serving. Favis is able to get back to it. Fowler passes it over. This one's set near the net and a little miscommunication, a little yep. scramble that, for the Royals that didn't pay off and leads to a side out and the Cardinals Chance to serve, trailing by six. Madison, Madison Fowler, Fowler to the service line. And that one's long. I'll give that service right back to Rogers. Bruskowitz serving. Set goes to Bresnahan, bounces off the block attempt. Coming right back for the kill is Dawson.
creeping ever closer. April Johnson checking in for Rogers, going a little deeper into their bench with a solid lead here and trying to close this one out. Bresnahan fires wide. Yeah, again, we're talking about those runs again, and they've been able to do that here to get that lead up to 19 to 10. Favisith up off the rafters, and that'll be an ace for Bruskowitz and a 10 point lead now for Rogers. Just five points away from a three set sweep. Back to back aces. But I always wonder, is that really an ace when they just mishandle it and it's some aces are, are real easy to Yeah, easy determine. to call, right. Oh, just wide. Now it didn't miss by much. <laughs> the look on <laughs> Michaela Wilbur's face, she thought for sure it got touched, but loses the argument. Now a little tough for Faviseth to handle. Sada Green will pass it across, well out of bounds. And it is 23-10 here in set number three. Hoffman will pass it across. Set and a kill for Dawson. Dawson, I don't think, played in either of the first two sets, uh, but she has been impressive bringing some power here from the left side. In, uh, in this third set. And there's a drop shot from Bruskowitz on match point. And the Royals make quick work of the Cardinals, 25-11, 25-16, and 25-10. That will be 15 games in a row. Now they are 15 and two. As we talked about in the opening, that they dropped their first two contests and have won 15 in a row which is very, very impressive, Mr. Yund. Absolutely, and, they, and again, they, you know, they, they, you said you were concerned they, they may uh, not uh, play their best in, in set number three, and, and it was their most impressive finish. Absolutely. Um, and they, they did it with a lot of good service and a, and a lot of great passing communication, and, and again, that, uh, when you have that many weapons, it, it certainly makes it a lot easier to be a dominant force. Uh, they are in a very, very impressive squad, and, and uh, you know, it's going to be tough for other teams because of their size. And, you know, you talked about it throughout the game, how many different contributors they had. You know, you, you get some players coming off the bench and all of a sudden contributing it as well. So it's a pretty deep roster and a pretty good team. The season will move on for the Cardinals. It will also move on for the CTN crew. Happy to be at a football game on Friday. Yes. <laughs> uh, we're not allowed to go to Zimmerman for the Cardinals contest last week and then not able to, uh, due to some staff shortages, not able to do football at all last week. But uh, we will be there when the Cardinals host the Rogers Royals. Quinky Dink and up. Uh, on Friday, live at 7 o'clock. Boys and girls soccer against Spring Lake Park next Tuesday. We'll see the volleyball team on Thursday next week as they host Champlin Park. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score from the field house. It's the Royals in three, 25-11, 25-16, and 25-10. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young. Say goodnight.